Greetings coders. Today we're going to learn about how to use Flexbox. So Flexbox, I used it to set up this navigation and I also used it to set up this gallery of images. As you can see, with this gallery, when I close it, it just topples down and fills the page. So no matter how wide or narrow your screen is, it will fill up. So Flexbox can be used for navigation, um, for images, for a gallery, or for content like a net left navigation with a main or something like that. Anyway, let's get started. We'll start by, on your desktop, you can create a folder called Flex Practice. You can see mine is empty right now. We want an empty folder to begin with. And that's where we'll start. Then we'll launch Visual Studio Code and we'll choose File, Open Folder. And we will go to the Flex Practice folder, which is empty. You can see it's empty because I open it and it's empty. With that open, I will control click and create a new file. I'll name it index.html. I'll create another new file and name this one gallery.html. And then I'll create my styles. styles.css. So I've got my three files that I need. Starting with index, I'll use the shortcut exclamation point to get that in there. And I will title this flex navigation. And on this one, I'll do the same thing. And I'll title this one uh, flex gallery. So I've got two good documents to start with. They've got their titles. And now I'm going to link my style sheet. After you type this a few times, you'll have it memorized. You may not have it done yet, but you will eventually. Style sheet. And then the link. And of course, the minute you create a link like this for this, the first thing you want to do is test it to be sure it's working. Always, always test it because you don't want to get too far along and have it not working and not know why. Save and now I'll open my index and see how it's working there. I know the link is working because I made it uh, violet. So there's my styles and it's linked to the index. I'll copy this and put it on my gallery. Remember that this link goes between the head tags. It can't go below. It has to go b between the head tags. All right, that's getting started. The next video will put in our HTML5 tags and get moving on the navigation.